You know, it's so easy just to show all the good, all the amazing trades and wow, profit, profit, profit. But let's talk about something else. Let's talk about what I can work on, what I'm battling right now. The idea that I need to have a little bit more patience. I need to have a little bit more focus on the bigger picture. We're going to take a look at a trade here, end of day, and how I basically got chopped up, still made money, but really a overall mind screw. It was a mind screw. That's what it was. Going to break it down right here in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. All right. All right. Let's break. So here's the setup. Like always, we're looking at the three minute chart here. We've got the setup on the ES. I basically was waiting, 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 waiting for this to pull back and then to finally break out of this overall downward trend, waiting for kind of the MACD, everything to be bullish and then looking to jump in. So we got the breakout like we wanted. That was exactly what we wanted. What was funny is I actually waited like 30 minutes, 40 minutes for this to break out. I kept sitting there, I kept sitting there. We finally got the breakout. I jumped in long and then I'm gonna show you how I went wrong. What did I do wrong here? And a couple things that I'm battling right now is overall the idea that I'm like, I don't wanna give back profit, but I also don't want to lose like more than I have to. Like I'm always trying to minimize my loss. The funny idea to think that like you're trying to minimize your loss, but you're also creating more losses. They might be small losses, but you're creating more losses by trying to minimize your losses. You can, looking here at the 2000 tick chart, you can see the breakout. We got that push above the 30s. I was actually a little late to jump in. I jumped in there at the 30s and had this push up. We pushed up the 33s, perfect. We kind of chopped around. I ended up kind of moving my stop to right below this candle there at the 29s. I moved my stop right there, 29s, and I'm like, okay, you know, if we get stopped out, I'm only gonna be losing two, you know, losing one basically one handle there. So I moved my stop to the 29s. And at that point I ended up getting stopped out. And then I'm like, well, screw it. I'm going to jump in short. So I ended up jumping in short, totally a terrible idea. And I got to work on this. Like the problem is like, this wasn't invalidated, right? Like we need to ask ourselves, like what was the reason for me to move my stop there to 29? The only reason that I moved my stop there to 29 was because I wanted to minimize my loss. Remember, I'm talking about that idea of minimizing my loss here. So I moved my stop to 29 and then I'm an idiot and I'm like, well, I'm going to short. I'm going to jump in short there and I jump in short here at 28.50 and well, it reversed right back up. Again, like there was no reason to short there. We didn't invalidate anything. You know, looking here at the three minute chart, we broke out, we're holding the EMA is there, everything's bullish. So why would I jump in short? It was just a kind of instinct of like quickly getting stopped out and be like, all right, screw it. You know, we're getting stopped out. I'm gonna jump in short, which again, I need to work on that. So the problem is that we're really battling right here is looking at this. Okay. So I get stopped out and then I'm like, are you kidding me? It starts to ramp back up and I FOMO back into it. I buy there at the 3250s. Well, guess what? It then pulls back. It gets denied at the 33s. I keep my stop right here at the 13 EMA on the 2000 tick chart. I get stopped out again. And I'm like, at this point, I'm just on tilt and I'm just totally being an idiot. You know, I went from basically entering here at the 30s, having my stop, you know, down here, basically 25s, risking five for a 10 handle move up to the 40s. Great trade. If I'm risking five off this entry, I mean, I really don't need to risk five. I would say like, you know, 26s kind of like down in here. So let's say I'm risking five, possible thousand dollar loss for the move up to the 10 to the 20, you know, in terms of upside potential. I normally never really get stopped out for the full stop because I end up doing things like this where I move my stop around, but I get stopped out there. So at this point, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, I jump in once again here at the 32s. I then take profit on this little push up there to the 35s, basically just breaking even on all this crap right here. And you can see it ended up moving up all the way to the 41s. Going back to the three minute chart, you know, what did I do wrong here? I think you really gotta go into a trade and you gotta have a stop that makes sense, right? It's gotta make, it's gotta be a stop that makes sense. You know, going into this trade, I had my stop, I had my entry, you know, my stop was right there, 25, like that should have been my stop. 
you know, once we kind of had this little candle right there, I mean, I could have kept my stop basically below that low at the 27s and then got that perfect move up there to the 42s. That was exactly what I was looking for. I went into this trade thinking that we were gonna bounce back over 30s, we're gonna push to the high of day and then push up there to the 40s, get above that pivot point. We had the pivot right there. I mean, everything was just lining up perfectly, but I just failed at the execution because I was moving my stops around. Because the idea here is if I'm buying at 30 right here for this breakout, okay, perfect, but like, where's my stop at? My stop just can't be magically right here. Like, I can't just put my stop right below my entry. I just can't do it. Like you got to give yourself some wiggle room. There's going to be some, there's going to be little ups and downs. Like you just can't keep your stop that tight. You know, I battled this before. I've made videos about this before about the idea of moving my stop to break even today. It broke even after like three or four trades on it. But like in general, really, I need to focus on if I'm entering here at the thirties, like what's the plan? You know, the plan is to get this move up here. The plan is not to just get stopped out at 27. If I'm entering at, you know, 28. If I'm entering at 30, I'm gonna put my stop at 29 and get out for one handle and then do something stupid and re-enter. I mean, it's one thing to get stopped out. It's like, what do you do after you get stopped out? Do you end up getting on FOMO and jumping back in, trying to short? Like, what do you do after you get stopped out? Do you just magically, do you just walk away? You know, do you stop trading at that point if you get stopped out for a one handle loss? So I really gotta think about, like I think it's very important to enter the trade understanding where your stop is, what your risk is obviously, but we also, we wanna understand like what the move is doing. You know, is if we break above 30 here, okay, well we might get some chop in this area before moving higher. So like, why would I put my stop right there at 29? It's a million dollar question. Million dollar question, Patrick. Million dollar question. So I really need to address this. I need to answer this. Like what should be, you know, my overall plan? If I'm entering here at the 30s and I'm willing to risk, you know, five handles, Okay, well then that should be my first risk. Like I should be risking five handles. We start to push up through here. And then, you know, once we get this breakout here, okay, perfect. Now I can move my stop there at the thirties, like break even. But I can't move my stop to like basically break even when we're still at my entry. Like you just can't do that. Cause now I'm getting stopped out that I'm jumping in, I'm changing, I'm trying to do like three or four trades. You know, I ended up doing four trades. I ended up doing three trades inside of this area right here where my first trade, my first entry was a winning entry. I just needed to manage my stop loss better. I needed to just manage what was going on and you know hold this. Move my stop to the 27s once we kind of put in that higher low there, not just, you know, oh, I'm gonna enter 30, stop right there at 29. Perfect idea, Patrick, perfect idea. And then especially like getting short right there. I don't even wanna talk about that. But in general, I wanted to make this video so you guys see that I'm going through it just like you are. I'm battling it. Obviously, like I wanna make the big money, money, money. But at the same time, like I gotta figure out like what's the, perfect ratio in terms of getting stopped out you know what should i be doing if i'm getting stopped out should i just like put my hands in the air and wait or you know if i'm being aggressive jumping back in and then getting stopped out like it's just too much to think about like that one trade if i would have basically on that one trade kept my stop where i originally had it i would have basically got stopped out for a thousand dollar loss and that would have been the same as getting stopped out on four trades or three trades for 200 or 300 dollar losses. So you gotta think about that. Like if your stop loss on three or four trades is basically adding up to the same that it would be on one trade that you entered in the first place, like there's obviously something to really kind of address there. So that's one thing that I'm kind of really focused on right now is figuring out number one, you know, how can I minimize my risk going into the trade? You know, I thought about maybe like taking partial, like I thought about maybe like trading with like starting with small size and then adding into the move. That's something to think about maybe as well and then go in the future. That way it's kind of minimizing my initial entry risk and then adding to the winner. I think that might be a good plan. It's just a process, you know, we're going through it every day. I'm not an expert by any means. I'm just trying to kind of figure out what I can do to make my trading better how can i execute the plan better how can i follow the rules better and well today a good example of if i'm gonna enter a trade i gotta let it do its thing like be patient let the trade work don't just move your stop to break even just because you're like oh i'm just gonna move my stop break even i think the big reason i ended up moving my stop there i didn't want to risk was just kind of my p l right i was trading my p l i wasn't trading the trade and that's the lesson here i was trading the P and L in terms of like my loss, like, oh, I don't wanna lose $200. I don't wanna lose $300. But instead, it's like I entered that trade with the plan of pushing the 41s with my stop at the 25s. 
30 entry looking for 40 forge or higher you know we make two or three thousand dollars on that trade it's like you got to accept the loss you got to accept the overall play and the strategy you can't just be like well i'm entering and then all of a sudden i move my stop break even and then oh, i'm going crazy my stop and then do some crazy trades and then get chopped up and then ah, explode